Hello everyone. I'm going to do another video here now showing uh, the English coastline. This is based on a photograph from a wonderful English artist friend of mine, Colin Woodward, who let me use his photographs, photograph as a reference for my next painting. This is a photograph he took of Pet Level, East Sussex, England, which is near where he lives. All right, where's my pencil? All right, so let's draw our basic outline and we keep it here roughly come around here I'll probably put lay in my shoreline first and then swishes around like that something around like that all right step two get some watercolor graphite now this is again I'm left-handed my source of light will be from my well actually I put it in here Pardon me, I take that back. I'll put it in here. If I had not put my source of light in the painting itself, me being left-handed, my strong side is my left hand, I'd put it off the page at 10 o'clock. A right-hander would put it off the page at uh, 2 o'clock. I'm going to put it in here and thinking about where I want to put my, my sun. So I sort of contour any old kind of cloud, but... It usually looks better. All right, now fade that off. Let that go off. All right. When the sun breaks through, any type of... I'm going to have... Now, this is fun to do. I, I, I find this really enjoyable. Let me flip that brush over like that. This hake is really quite remarkable. Ron Rance, an Englishman that devised this, really made it a really good instrument when he did this. So this is just lightly in there. And this stuff you kind of got to dig at a little bit. All right. Kind of shape the tip of my brush a little bit so I can kind of roughly outline just the same thing I did with my pencil. Now in watercolor we start with our lights and then work towards our dark. So let's put something on here. And then that's going to splash all the way across top here. And take care of that much of it first. Okay, now lose my edges. I'm paying a lot of attention to my outside edges and less so to my inside areas because shapes are defined by their outside edge. Okay, so here's cobalt blue. That other blue was uh, sky blue, which is really just cerulean blue. Okay. Dance across here a little bit. Breaking up, look like a broken beach line. Darken, darken, darken. Okay, darken a little bit. And down here. Behind negative paint behind the waves where it's splashing. Okay, not don't overdo it too much. Something up here in my waves up my, my clouds. Alright, this, this is kind of dried off now, so I have uh, more of that traditional dry brush effect. run it off, lose my outside edge. All right, so that leaves me, um, I can brighten it up here a little bit. And maybe touch of blue a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'll let it dry, then I'll sign it, and I'll post it online. Thank you everyone for following along with me. Please like and subscribe if you would. And I will see you again shortly. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.